Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the beneficent. Let me welcome you all in my YouTube channel, The Innovative Learning Style. Dear guys and girls, in my today's lecture, English grammar session, the topic I'm going to discuss is based on direct and indirect narration. So let's see it in detail. Dear guys, we can see a sentence. Ali says, I am sick. There are two parts. Ali says is the first part, whereas I am sick is the second part. So the first part Ali says is known as reporting speech and the next part that is enclosed in inverted commas is known as reported speech. So this is called direct narration. Ali says, I am sick. Now let us change it into indirect narration. Let's see it. Ali says that He is sick. The first one is direct narration. Ali says, I am sick. And this one is indirect narration. Ali says that he is sick. Let's come to the next sentence. He says, I have a cow. Let me change it into indirect narration. He says that he has a cow. You saw, in indirect narration, there is that in place of commas. He says, I have a cow. He says that he has a cow. Let us come to the next one. She says, I cannot help you. She says that she cannot help me. The next one, he said, dear guys here, the reporting speech is in past. So, this part will also be in part, past. He said that He could not help 
me. So this is indirect narration. He said that he could not help me. Dear guys, here is another sentence. He says, I am going home. Now this part, reporting speech, is based on simple present, whereas the reported speech is based on present continuous. So let's see. He says that he is going home. He says that he is going home. So this is indirect narration. Let us come to the next one. She said to me. Now this is reporting speech. She said to me. This will be changed into she told me. She told me that as usual we will replace these commas by using the word that. She told me that she would help me. Let me repeat it. The direct narration. She said to me, I shall help you. And its indirect narration is, she told me that she would help me. Dear guys, let me come to the last sentence. She said, I have to do my homework. This is direct narration. Now let us change it into indirect narration. She said that she had to do her homework. Again, let me repeat it. Direct narration. She said, I have to do my homework. And its indirect narration will be, she said that she had to do her homework. Dear guys, I hope you might have learned it in a better way. But even then, in case of any difficulty, Please mention in the comment box. Till the next video, Allah Hafiz and take care.